the most commonly used phrase among inhabitants of northeastern part of Nigeria and Nigerians as a whole is never in our life shall we witness those dark days again. Anytime you hear this, it is referring to the era of darkness when Boko Haram insurgents were having a field day in control of major parts of Borno, Bochi, Gombe, Adamawa, Taraba and Yobe states. Those were the days when Nigerians, even in Abuja, could not sleep with their two eyes closed. Movements were restricted as majority of roads were blocked with excessive security checks, even within Abuja, the nation's capital. Nigerians will not forget in a hurry those days when the Boko Haram insurgents ransacked many local government areas, displaced thousands of residents, turned them into slaves in their own country by hoisting their flags. It was estimated that the insurgency war resulted in over 2 million internally displaced persons nationwide. us to bring this madness to an end, we need a holistic approach encompassing the military, the political and the economic solution. But kudos goes to the President Muhammad Buhari administration. The administration approached the issue with all the seriousness it deserves, notwithstanding that the war emanated from the resurgency of a sect leader Muhammad Yusuf escalated for four years resulting in factionalization of the group. The Buhari government marched force with force to tackle the situation since it came into power in 2015. At home, we face enormous challenges. Insecurity, pervasive corruption, the hitherto unending and seemingly impossible fuel and power shortages are the immediate concerns. We are going to tackle them head on. Experience is the best teacher. President Muhammad Buhari applied his knowledge and experience as a retired general to tackle the monster in Nigeria known as Boko Haram. Immediately after he took the oath of office, President Buhari took a major decisive action to end the insurgency and other security challenges of Nigeria. This gave birth to the new service chiefs as a result of the total overhaul of the security apparatus. Lieutenant General Tukuru Buratai took over with new vigor as Nigeria's chief of army staff. With this marching order from the Commander-in-Chief of Nigerian Armed Forces, Muhammad Buhari GCFR, Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai joined forces with other security operatives to stem the tide of this menace called Boko Haram. You must carry this in deep into their territories. You must go further. That should be the next strategy. The remnants that are roaming around in the bushes and the forest must be followed through, be identified and cleared accordingly. For the success of the operations, General Buratai begins consultations and with strategic planning with the top hierarchy of the army, the headway manifests. I personally identify with the security agencies of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Why I say so, there is no nation in the world that disown its armed forces and its security agencies. All over the world, the strength of a nation is identified by its strength of its armed forces. Be it America, USA, Korea, India, 
Pakistan and many other countries. With multiplicity of approach to the situation and supply of the needed arsenal, things changed. The introduction of asymmetric warfare to enhance the counterinsurgency with the training of special forces to attack with precision further degraded the capacity of the insurgents. Thanks to the Buniyadi School of Special Forces developed by the army chief. Within a few months, the insurgents were confronted by a different Nigerian army and pushed out of their stronghold, the Sambisa forest. We are very, very grateful with the current leadership of the army. Uh, of the army. Honestly, we are very, very grateful. Uh, the laboratory needs a national and international honor and recognition because we know how the military used to behave and we know what is happening now. Let me just be specific uh, in terms of giving report on the security as a governor of this uh, beautiful state. As we are all aware, Adamao is uh, part of the frontline states. The situation of the security in this state, based on the report and what is happening on ground, this state is very stable. For the Boko Haram insurgency, we have to give it to this government that they have done marvelously well in containing the insurgency. But they have been degraded to such a level that they no longer pose a potent threat to the corporate existence of this country. It's a work in progress. The governors of the north are ever willing to extend a hand of fellowship, a hand of cooperation to the federal institution towards enthroning peace in the region because peace is an absolute prerequisite for any development of a society. Reviewing activities of the Nigerian army from 2015, when General Buratai took over to date, it is heartwarming and encouraging. The successes recorded is not only clearly manifesting in the northeast, but other major Nigerian cities. Most of the roads blocked in Abuja and major towns have been reopened. People now go to their places of worship at ease without fear of attack. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Geda, Wake, Darigi. It is on record that thousands of internally displaced persons are now returning to their ancestral homes. Commendation goes to Operation Lafia Doli, reinvigorated by General Boratai, who is a man of action. <laughs> Test running various platforms, procuring needed weaponry with needed supervision, boosting the morale of the troops. Indeed, they are always in high spirit 
to defend their country. see him around our morale is our fighting spirit is high now, I remember one thing he said there in the field he said that we should gear up to finish up so I think his coming will give us the impetus to really finish up the soldiers express gratitude and happiness with the chief of army staff for being with them and beyond that also the clearance operation remnants of these criminals that go by the appellations of Boko Haram terrorists will be decisively uh, dealt with to a logical conclusion. <laughs> President Buhari acknowledged these successes at various fora which made him to extend the tenure of the service chiefs. Our nation is safe again, thanks to the efforts of our security agencies. The Nigerian army has within this period achieved a lot in many areas, restoring confidence of the Nigerian population of a secured nation. For the first time, Nigeria observed ceremonial independence anniversary in recent years. Army chief also stands out following the introduction of various initiatives changing the face of the Nigerian army. Few among them include establishment of two additional logistics base to support the Northeast operations, establishment of additional formations including 6th and 8th divisions, developing the training camp in Buniyadi for the training of special forces in collaboration with the Navy to replace such training overseas, establishment of motorbike battalion, among other strides. The laudable achievements of the Nigerian army in maintaining peace and protecting the territorial integrity of Nigeria did not stop at the Northeast. To complement the operations in the Northeast and other parts of the country, General Boratai launched various strategic operations in tune with the prevailing situations. Exercises were launched to stem the tide of internal security problems in the country. Harbin Kunama, Crocodile Smile, Python Dance, Shirin Harbi, and Sharandaji are all part of the General Boratai success story. Success of the Nigerian army in the last three years is attributable to the commitment of General Tukur Boratai to the welfare of officers and men of the Nigerian army, which in no small measure boosted their morale to face the enemies of the Nigerian nation. Prompt payment of troops allowances, establishment of foods canteen to provide free meals for officers and soldiers. Establishment of new command secondary schools, construction of command guest houses and accommodation. 
Establishment of Barracks Investment Initiative Program. And above all, spearheading the establishment of the first Nigerian Army University sited in Biu, Borno State, the first in the history of Nigeria. Already, the groundbreaking ceremony to that effect has taken place. The sighting of this very unique university here in Borno State is by itself an indication of the tremendous successes that the President has recorded in the fight against insurgency. And I feel this is a good opportunity to commend Mr. President and the security agencies for their patriotism and hard work in seriously degrading the Boko Haram insurgents and returning peace and stability to the entire Northeast region. But apart from the inroads made in the war against insurgency, citing this university here demonstrates government's dedication to resettling, rehabilitating, and developing the entire region that was so unfortunate to have been ravaged by the activities of the insurgents and how best to achieve this than through education. As a government, we believe that it is by harnessing the full potential of education, especially at the high level, that Nigeria will be able to overcome her multiple challenges, from insecurity and corruption to the challenges of daily living. It is in this respect that the federal government, under my leadership, hit the ground running since the early months of our integration to improve the standard and increase access through various interventions, activities in the education sector. This is because we strongly believe that every institution opened is a prison gate closed due to the fact that an uneducated mind is a potential candidate for prison. The leadership of the Nigerian Army conceptualized and and articulated ideas which led to the establishment of the Nigerian Army University Bill. National armies of the 21st century are ICT compliant, technology based, and science prone establishments. The Nigerian Army need not be left out in this regard. This envisioned university will develop the Nigerian Army capacity to compete professionally and responsibly with other armies of the world. But this school is about the issue of civilians and military coming together to learn, to acquire knowledge and skills so that this country can be developed further. Five years back, you can all agree with me, this place was uh, disturbed by the insurgency. Education was not going on, but with the help of this administration, we have peace. There is this university here in the Northeast. It will increase you know, the access to higher education. Indeed, the history of Nigeria will not be complete without a mention of the giant stride of Lieutenant General Tukuruburatai for his initiatives that overhauled the Nigerian army apparatus, brought peace to the Northeast, the nation at large, and to the smiling faces of the once ravaged communities. We know that the role of the army is to pro provide protection to the civil populace, to defend the, integ the territorial integrity of the nation, and of course, definitely to protect the people. We're glad that you have protected us. If you had not done so, we wouldn't be here. This used to be a Boko Haram territory. Today it is our own territory, courtesy of the gallant fighting forces of this country. We are glad that some of you laid your lives so that we can live in peace. And we appreciate the supreme sacrifices made by some of the, our gallant fighting forces. We continue to be very proud of you and we continue to appreciate everything you have done. When Operation Crocodile Smile Circle started, there may have been people who had misgivings. There may, there may be a lot of people out there, and they still are. But I think what we saw and what we witnessed in River State in the period that this operation took place was that 
a lot of work was done in not only flushing out these criminals, but ensuring that our oil facilities, our national key national assets are protected, kidnappers, bunkers, and so many other criminals were chased away. Let me say that all the governors in this zone have shown commitment and we fully, they fully support what the federal government is doing. We would like, particularly like to congratulate the Chief of Army Staff and the Nigerian Army for what you're doing. You know, it is very easy for people who don't understand what these gentlemen and ladies have to go through to keep us safe. And yet, this is another instance where clearly they have come here with a clear mandate, they have kept to that mandate, and unfortunately, and I say this, those criminals and those purveyors of filth and lies who thought that they could change or dissuade people from participating in this noble program must by now realize that they failed. The Nigerian army has done a wonderful job. We will continue to support them. And indeed, all the states from this area are totally committed in ensuring that our president succeeds in the task of keeping this country one and united this opportunity to thank the armed forces, most especially the Nigerian army, for doing what they're doing here because they have accorded us some respite here. They have accorded us peace and comfort, which we have been denied in the, in the, in the couple of years back. Uh, and by what I've seen today, and with what they will continue to be doing, not only in Polgori Game Reserve, but actually in all other areas uh, nationwide, it has confirmed to me that the Nigerian armed forces, especially the Nigerian army, is really an organization that must be called uh, 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 must be respected for what they are doing. As a chief of army staff with clear vision, General Tukur Buratai is poised to consolidate on this peace and leave a legacy of a serious and vigilant Nigerian army ever ready to protect its fatherland from whatever encroachment to its indivisibility. I want to once again implore all commanders to brace up to the challenges that come with leadership. Some recent developments in our ongoing operations, particularly Operation Lafayette Dole, tends to test our wits in this direction. But we must not relent despite those setbacks. We should remember that the hallmark of a great military leader is to turn setbacks to victories. We should all strive to make our impact felt at this crucial time and not allow the hands of progress to be pulled down. I expect to see effective leadership at all levels of command, which must permeate down the ladder. I want to express the Nigerian Army's profound appreciation to the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, for his invaluable understanding and support to the Nigerian Army. On behalf of all officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army, I want to humbly reassure Mr. President of our commitment to the defense of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria.